Ladies and gentlemen, I am the literally the most inconsistent like YouTuber pretty much out here at the moment. Like I, I say I'm gonna be busy for like a week or so. I come back, I say I'm back. There's daily uploads, daily streams, and then I don't stream for a month. But I'm back now, and I put out a tweet earlier, as you can see on screen. I wanted you guys to send and kind of flex your teams on me. I've had very little time to play 2K. I've been playing as much as I can recently. I've been getting into wars on a tiny bit, but I've been absolutely pumped with uni at the moment and some other film shoots, which have been fantastic for me personally. However, I wanted to see your team. You guys sent some amazing teams. We're going to jump into them. We've had a little bit of a look, but oh my god, am I behind on 2k this season. Alrighty, our first team here is from my man King Louie. He's got the uh, Josh Giddy level 40 reward. I'm level 34. I'm 34, 35, something like that. I've been shocking at the moment. He's got RJ, Roko, he's got Michael Bridges, Ralph Sampson, he's got Marcus Smart, Duncan Robinson, he's got Denny Herbert, and Rick Smith. Now, a lot of like reward cards here, which is fantastic. Almost nearly all reward cards, which is great. I absolutely love seeing that. People, there's a lot like this season in particular, but also this 2k you can get a lot of cards from grinding pretty much his entire staying lineup is nearly reward cards which is fantastic now that giddy has got slower jump shot than a lot of the smaller point guards however if it works with king louis then absolutely rock with that man rj arguably the best card in the game he's fantastic roko we wanted a roko for so long people were memeing about him 93 roko if it works for you chill with him i would run him at shooting guard but you got rj there so you know you can chill with rj michael bridges i mean the dude's very good his team we're not going to talk about the suns today holy god how bad was that team today at the point of the, when i'm recording this video the suns are out. Like, we're versing Dallas on the next round, so I'm very excited for that. Ralph Sampson still hold, holds his own. Potentially could upload, uh, upgrade your center position overall, but uh, yeah, overall, fantastic team. I'm not going to do ratings because I don't want to offend people, and I have a good team, so I can't really, like, say that for myself. Overall, a great team, man. Maybe upgrade the center position. Alright, next up, we have my man Lucas on current gen. He's got Magic Johnson, RJ, Jason Tatum, Jonathan Isaac, Hakeem, Marcus Smart, Scotty, Kyle Kuzma, Lamar. Uh, who's that? I can't even tell who that is there. Uh, I, I'm that out of the whack. I can't even tell who it is. Jordan Paul, Michael Bridges and Sean Kemp. Now, Magic Johnson uh, he's, he's a very back and forward sort of character. I think he's better on current gen from what I've heard than next gen. I don't actually, I don't even think I've seen him once on next gen. Someone use him on next gen, at least on, on my servers. RJ, once again, I think everyone should have this card. There is no excuse to not have this card. You've had 35 days to grind this card. You should have him. No, I don't have him, but you should definitely have him. Jason Tatum, fantastic. Jonathan Isaac holds his own. We've wanted that Jonathan Isaac for so long. He's fantastic to have. Hey, Keem, still very good. Potentially could be upgraded but very, very good as well. Marcus Smart off the bench is fantastic. Now, the Kyle Kuzma, I haven't used him personally. If he works for you, I mean, his jump shot is easy to time. Um, but the thing is, at, at the three, I don't know. Work maybe work with Kyle Kuzma. If you don't like him, scrap him. But overall, really nice team. And uh, there's not a whole lot of improvement. I love the Jordan Paul respect. I love having Jordan Paul there. So respect to Lucas for having Jordan Paul there. I love it. Now, time for my big man, Bagsy. I absolutely love Bags, man. Okay, we've got Giddy. We've got RJ Tatum. Of course, he's got Tatum. Of course. Of course, he's made it a 9.0 near mint, Jason Tatum, Jonathan Isaac, and Nikola Jokic, uh, D'Angelo Russell, which we haven't seen just yet, Julius Irving, that's a holographic Julius Irving, very nice, Kawhi Leonard, which is fantastic, my absolute favourite player nearly in the league right now, Draymond Green, and Jack Sigma, that's who it is, that's who it is, I couldn't see it in the other photo, um, but yeah, fantastic team, I love Draymond, I personally would start Draymond, I'm a Draymond fan, so I would start Draymond off of Jonathan Isaac, but if you're rocking with Jonathan Isaac, that's fantastic, um, I love that he's greater lose cards. He's, except for except for Jokic, he's been pretty damn lucky with his grades. It's been very good. Once again, if Giddy works for you, rock with Giddy. Obviously, there are smaller options out there, but Giddy is very, very nice, and he's dominant as well. Very tall, great playmaking, great dribbling. Um, yeah, so that jump shot can be a bit slow sometimes, but if you like him, stay with him, man. You know, he's going to be good. RJ, as I said, should be on everyone's team. Julius Irving, I would have him there purely for holographic flex. Like a dark matter, holographic, 9.0, Julius Irving. Keep him on the team, man. He's very, very good. Um, but yeah, the only thing I would personally do is put Draymond on the staying lineup just because I love Draymond. But if you don't want him, man, fantastic lineup. I love Jokic. It's very, very good team. All right, this one here's from my man. Oh, oops, he's got a ninja profile picture. I absolutely love it. Derek Rose, Carmelo Anthony, Larry Bird, Zion Blake, Jordan Paul, Glenn Rice, Jason Tatum, Draymond Green, Hakeem, Giddy, Irving, and Morant. Now, oh, this one's interesting. This one's very, very interesting. Um, Glenn Rice, I use personally. I, I, the only position, like the main position I'm looking at now is that starting center. Like Blake is very nice. I just think he would get absolutely bodied if you came up against a Shaq, a Hakeem, Ralph Sampson even, which we've seen before as well. I know he got Hakeem off the bench, but if Blake works for you, that sort of small ball. Um, it's dev I mean, to be honest, you've got Carmelo at the two, Larry, pardon me, at the three. You, do, you still do have the height throughout the wing positions, um, which kind of make up for the center position, I guess. Dude, if you come up against Shaq, man, I'd be very, very worried. I'm not sure if this is current or next. I can't really tell. It is Xbox, but I can't really tell. But if you come up against Shaq, I would be worried. Other than that... 
you got shooting all the way around. Draymond off the bench. I love Draymond, so you know me, man. Derrick Rose. If Derrick Rose, the height doesn't matter for you, then rock with Derrick Rose. Otherwise, you could potentially put Giddy up there. But if you like Derrick Rose, rock with him. Uh, but yeah, I'd look at Blake to see if, if Blake, if you find yourself getting bullied a little bit with Blake, maybe look at switching him and Cam around. Maybe running Draymond at the center off the bench. I don't know. Something like that. All right. This one's from Cam Drew here. We've got Dwayne Wade, RJ, Draymond at the three, Lamar Odom, Bobby, uh, Josh Giddy, Vince, Michael, Kyle Kuzma, and Jack Sigma as well. Now, straight off the bat, I think that the glaring discrepancy here would have to be uh, Boban Majanovic. I, I think the man is, he, he's, he's nice, he's good, but from my memory, he is not the fastest bugger on the court. We'll have a quick look at his uh, a quick look at his stats, but from memory, he's not the fastest bloke out here. Um, I'll have a quick look. Actually, I think there was a joke made that he is quite fast. Actually, it's this one here, isn't it? So let's have a look at this Diamond Bobby. Uh, 82 throw ball, so you can easily green with that. Um, now, he only comes with set shooter. Obviously, if you're going to put Hoff badges on him, probably do that. Uh, where's his speed? So, his speed was ball 77. He's got 80 speed. So, he's most likely going to get outrun by everyone on the court. Um, if you're okay with that, then chill with that. Lamar's nice. Draymond's very nice. Um, Dwayne Wade, he's still very viable. And Richard Jefferson, obviously, one of the best cards in the game. Josh Giddy off the bench. Love it. Love the Aussie representation. Uh, Vince Carter, he can still hold himself. I still like him. Uh, Michael Bridges. A lot of people using Michael Bridges. I love it. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, we've seen him a lot, is good. Sigma, the only thing is probably that Bobby, man. The only, that's the only thing I'd recommend. Maybe having a look around and see if you can get a center to replace Bobby. But besides that, really good team, man. All right, I've had to move a webcam a little bit around, but here is my man, Connor. Now, Connor, I'm disappointed in you, mate. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. Um, where is Jokic? This man is the biggest Jokic fan I know, and I do not see Jokic anywhere in the starting lineup. Um, and I'm, I'm just, no, I'm kidding. Amari Stoudemire, my favorite player of all time. I love him on the court. Wes Unseld, love it. Jason Tatum, fantastic. RJ, Josh Giddy, great. Marcus Smart. We're seeing a lot of, like, familiar teams here. Um, Bobby, Yao. <laughs> yeah, man. What a level 40 reward. Uh, Marquise Johnson, my man's flexing. He's got his TTO rewards. I like that. Uh, Jordan Paul there as well. There's not a lot of change about this lineup at all, to be honest. Like, it is, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good, Connor. You know it's good. Um, but, the, like, man, where's Jokic, man? We're going to have, some, like, gold Jokic off the bench or something. Surely we have gold Jokic off the bench. But no, Connor, love the team, mate. Very, very good. And uh, mad respect for having my man Amari. And, and, and respect for getting Amari as well. I know it's not easy to get, so good work. Alrighty, up next, we've got Uncle Don here. Or feeling, feeling black. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm not really sure what the guy. Feeling black. Sure, we're calling that. Uh, Josh Giddy, RJ Lamar, Eddie Curry. Oh, okay. Uh, that's interesting. Rick Smith, Denny, Cassie. I love Cassie, man. This is the first time we've seen Cassie, man. We need more respect for Cassie. Jeff Green, great. Sigma and Bob Boban Mianovic. Now, Eddie Curry, from memory, um, I had a look. He, he's, only, he's only got jump shot normal. He's only got uh, set shot 17, which is Wilts, on normal. Um, so that that's a bit of a bit of oh hello Sidemen. Uh, that's a bit of a bit of a iffy one for me, man. That's the only the only thing I'd probably change. If you like Eddie Curry, if you Eddie if you're an Eddie Curry stan, rock with Eddie Curry. But I'd pro probably change that, man. Besides that, fantastic lineup. I love this. Um, Danny off the bench is great. Kazi as the as the ball handler off the bench. I love Kazi, man. Uh, I, I have that card. He's my, he's my starting lineup, so I absolutely love him. But yeah, maybe look at replacing Eddie potentially. That's probably the only change I make. All right, this one's a bit harder for you guys to see here, uh, but. But we have oh my goodness this team dude are, are we even gonna, Matt are we even gonna review this man are we look at this look at this team look if you can't even see it I'm gonna zoom in all right look at look at the okay it's not even gonna zoom in for me look at this team dude Luca, RJ, Giannis, Simmons, Dikembe, Magic, Kawhi, Draymond, Karl Malone, Shaq, Bob, Shea and Giddy you, you, you can't get any you can, what like I don't know I how I can't review this this team is near perfect if I'm being honest, that starting lineup is near perfect. There's honestly me looking at it right now, I wouldn't change a thing. You have three guys, four guys, five, four at least four guys that can handle the ball in the starting lineup, all 99s, right? Um, th there's nothing I'd change, dude. This this lineup's incredible. I I don't know if you're a Shea fan. The only the only negative thing is having Shea on the court because he's a 97. He's the only one that's below 99 on the court. Um, but I love it, dude. Fantastic lineup. I'm not making any changes. He said he's next gen. I hope I don't come up against you, Matt, if you're on Australian service because I am leaving straight away. Alrighty, this is Logan's. He's got Magic, Jar, RJ, Michael, Yao, Dwight, Marcus Smart, T Mac, Kobe, Westbrook, Giddy, Bosch, and I think I've hit it, but Carl Anthony Towns at the 13th man. Now, the initial one is Jar Moran. Jar Moran at the two. 
man, if, if you come up against any any anyone with like Giannis, with Kawhi, with anyone at the two that has someone over 6'5, Jar is gonna have a nightmare, man. Um, I personally would would either switch these two around just so you at least have some form of heist at the two just in case you don't make those auto switches um rj at the three is really nice honestly you could put rj at the two michael at the three and bring on someone from the bench at the four to be honest you could bring on you can move rj to the two michael to the three and chris bosch to the four or something like that yeah would be the next one i look at um yeah yeah is still viable um but I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not, actually, I'm not too high on that, on that Yao, to be honest. Uh, that Yao is, a, I say he's a little bit outdated at the moment, Logan. Um, I, I think overall it's a very, very nice team. Uh, you're getting there, there's a very good, very good uh, kind of, uh, what would you say, a, a, a foundation to this team. Uh, I think, keep Magic there, move RJ to the two, move Michael to the three, Chris Bosch to the four, and maybe bring on Dwight for now to the, the starting five. Um, just so you kind of have that that overall height across the board, rather than having Jar at the two, Michael Michael can still hold himself at the four. As there's a few things to move around, maybe maybe a few replacements, but you've still got the you've still got the star pair, you still got T Mac, still got Kobe, still got those guys on the bench that can play really well, as well as Josh Giddy as well. So you run Josh Giddy at the starting one, Marcus Smart at the starting two, T Mac at the three, stuff like that. There's definitely a good foundation here. It's moving around and finding which works for you. If this works for you, run with the man. But I'd personally make those changes. Put Andre to the two, Mike out to the three, and Bosch to the four. Alrighty, I reckon we'll do three more here for today. Now we've got MJ Ghosted, 242k MT, cross-gen player. Just sold Wilt when he, uh, when he sells. I plan on buying Lamello, then rebuy Wilt since he is going for cheaper now than he was before. Fantastic idea. Now this man's got Luca, RJ, Draymond, a holographic Draymond. That is filthy good, man. Blake Griffin, Chris Dupps, Steve Francis, which I haven't seen before, which will inevitably be replaced by Lamello. Kazzy Russell, love it. Zion, love it. Jermaine, which could be replaced uh, inevitably. Ralph Sampson and Jonathan Isaac as well. So that's those bench sort of players who will be replaced by Wilt and Steve Francis will be replaced by Lamello. Once that happens, there's pretty much nothing I'd change here. Um, if you rock with Jermaine, rock with Jermaine. Zion's still very, very nice. Kazzy, I love him. Starting lineups, pretty much perfect. Like, I'm not going to lie. The starting lineup, the, the, like, obviously, the so many starting lineups you can have nowadays. This one is pr pretty much perfect, dude. And having a holographic J1 is such a good flex as well. Dude's probably very, very close to getting Giddy as well. But I think once you got Lamello and, and, and Luca, you're not going to need Giddy. Um, but this is kind of like a little a little achievement for you. But dude, yeah, MJ goes to mate. Fantastic team. Keep the starting lineup the way it is. And then, yeah, obviously, replace with Lamello and Wilt when you get those cards. All right, this one here is from SMFH. Uh, he's got Magic, MJ, Scotty, Patrick Ewing, Kareem, Luca. Lamello, Mello, uh, Blake Griffin, Kristaps, Kevin Durant. Is that two? He's got two holographics off the bench. He's got Kristaps and Kevin Durant, Larry Bird, and Nikola Jokic. An all 99 lineup. One of the first that we've seen, I think, that's all 99. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's perfect, uh, but it's a fantastic team here. Uh, now we've got Magic. So Magic, MJ, MJ's arguably the best point guard in the game. Um, honestly, oh, okay, this might be a big, big call, uh, but what I would maybe do is sell Magic. Uh, put MJ to the one, Scotty to the two, uh, bring on someone from the three, and keep your keep your front court how it is. So keep Patrick Ewing and Kareem. But I, I'd honestly start Mag uh, start Michael Jordan at the one, so you'd run the ball through him instead of running it through Magic. If you like de uh, the Magic uh, defense and Magic's uh, playmaking, keep it like that. But I personally would swap them around. Um, but yeah, dude. Besides that, you know you have a perfect team, and this team is very very hard to stop. And the last one of the day is from my man Rodrigo. Uh, he's got Fred Van Vliet, Jerry Sloan, Richard Dumas, Boris Diaw, DeAndre Ayton, Kyrie. Josh Hart, Jonathan Kaminga, Sean Marion, and Pat Burke. Now, obviously, it's a little, there's, a, there's quite a few things that we would change here. I can see he's at 95, nearly 96,000 XP. So Giddy is on the way. Uh, but there's a, there's, there's a few things that need to change here, man. Uh, the first thing I think personally is, is your, your point guard position. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, at least that one there. He, he's not too flash. Uh, obviously, replacing him with Giddy is potential. He's got 4,000 MT. So what I would recommend is playing TTO with cards that you're comfortable with. So maybe a Kaminga, uh, maybe uh, a Dumas. 
um, and maybe Pat Burke, maybe, but run, run, running a lot with Kaminga in TTO will help you quite a lot. Get those upgraded cards, get maybe even a Bradley Beal to replace Fred Van Vliet for a little bit. Just get, get grinding those modes that aren't strictly like sweaty online, so not unlimited just yet, um, and, and getting going through those modes, TTO, even triple through offline if you're more of an offline player. Run through those and see how you go with them. Just gradually upload these players, but I think the first position mainly would be your point guard position because that's obviously they're, they're running the offense through them so Aiton would be the next one I replace um but yeah I think I think uh, your wings are okay for now your wings are okay for now uh so you're two to three two to th fours off the bench and then the starting lineup are fine but yeah the start starting point guard I'll definitely replace him shortly well lads thank you very much for watching this video uh, I'm gonna try to be as consistent as I can I say that every video um but at the moment I'm very very busy and I'm jumping into this the, a bunch of new projects very very shortly which I'm very excited to announce when I have the chance to um, yeah, it's pretty much a life-changing opportunity which is happening very, very shortly. So hopefully it goes well. Uh, as I said, if you guys want to want to be able to uh, submit your teams for the next festival, uh, the next uh, the next uh, video, I should say, or if you uh, if you want to know what's happening in my life, then follow my Twitter. It is on the screen or in the description as well. I do appreciate you guys. Stay safe. Love each other. I guess uh, just there's a horrible world at the moment, um, and it's a it's a pretty terrible world at the moment. So just just take everything take everything in and and love each other. And uh, DM me if you need to. My Twitter DMs are always open. I'll try to respond as fast as I can. Have a good night, guys. Uh, I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.